Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. You see, today is going to be a quite different video because today I be, I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your BM800 condenser microphone. Now, first things first, you'll need a few things. One is the actual microphone itself and a phantom power. I am not sure if a it will work like with people who don't use the phantom power. Because phantom power, basically what it does is that it powers up your microphone so that you could use it to its full potential. Well, not really full, but to its maximum, you know, maximum input. Uh, because if you go through directly from the microphone into the computer, it's going to sound really low because what the computer does is that it still has to power up the microphone. Therefore, in that same cable... It, it kind of interferes, you know, like, it, it, um, uh, how do I say this? It's just not, it, instead of it being just pure sound, you know, like pure sound, it has to power the microphone up. So that's why you need a phantom power. Now, uh, next, uh, this is, I am doing this on a desktop. I am not sure if this will work on a laptop unless you do have a sound card which is an additional cost, but any sound card will work. Any sound card out there will work. Uh, for the, uh, I still suggest you use a phantom power because I don't think that sound card will, uh, you know, will power up the microphone well as well, I mean, as good as the phantom power. Okay, so... First things you'll need is to want to head to uh, voice meter, uh, VB audio software, and download the virtual audio cable and the voice meter potato. Now, uh, actually, banana also works, the voice meter banana, but uh, don't get the regular voice meter. Get the banana or the potato. I suggest the potato because it has more features that might be useful for you uh, later on. So... Yeah, it's not actually it's not that hard to understand, you know. Uh, it took me let's say maybe around thirty minutes or less trying to tinker out with other stuff in the potato, and uh, yeah, I have discovered probably my best settings for the microphone. Of course, it will differ from where you are and where your mi microphone was made. Uh, I got mine since I live in the Philippines. I got mine from the. Uh, from Shopee for like uh, 398, 398 uh, Philippine pesos which is like let's see it's like 10 10 bucks I guess 10 US dollars or less than that uh, yeah so uh, yeah together with the stand so yeah well it's not together but yeah you, you get the point but the stand isn't actually something that is required in to set up this microphone it's just that it is your life is going to be all better with this stand <laughs> okay so now once you've uh gone here to the uh, voice meter thing you want to download either of these i suggest you install it as uh, not a standalone application because installing it is perf it's much more better i mean it's much better than doing that so yeah, once you've installed that, uh, it will prompt you to restart your computer. If not, uh, please do restart your computer for the drivers to load. So once you've done that, you want to head to your sounds. Now, uh, we don't go ahead to the microphone here. We head to the, uh, to the output things here. Now, you'll see these guys over here. Don't... Uh, don't touch them they're uh they're just part of the installation we're not really going to need them unless you're doing other audio work uh for now we're just setting up the bm800 microphone so what you want to do is to head to your uh audio device it's per, uh, for me i have the headphones and my speakers so we're gonna work on both of them but if you only have one you know, you can only follow one but yeah so for my sp uh, headphones, we want to go to advancements first and disable all en enhancements. Now, uh, why disable all of these enhancements? It is because these enhancements, they sometimes interfere with the microphone. I'm not sure about that. Uh, well, 
I actually think that disabling them really works all the more if you're using Nvidia Share because I kind of get some kind of noise. I get some noise when having the enhancements on. So after that, you want to head to Advance and select the highest quality possible. For mine, it's the DVD quality here. And then make sure to uncheck these ex exclusive mode stuff because Nvidia Share, if you're using that one, they really mess around with your settings. And make sure Spatial Sound is off. So for my speakers, uh, we got the, the, we disable all the enhancements, make it to the highest quality possible, uncheck these guys, and then make sure Spatial Sound is off. Now, uh, we head over to the microphone, the recording settings. Now, uh, if you have a microphone, for example, uh, in your headset and you already have the BM800, I suggest you disable that. For me, I disabled it right here. It's the uh, my Cerberus microphone thing. So yeah, I disabled that one so that nothing can, nothing else can get in the way when I'm recording. So uh, yeah. First off, you want to head to your microphone. Don't mind these guys yet. We're gonna set up voice meter later. Uh, yours is not gonna look like this. Mine, it's too because I already set up voice meter. But don't mind this one and uh, head into your microphone uh, so okay so you want to head to your uh, levels first make sure to set it to 30 and 30 30 decibels for me that's the best settings to eliminate as much as possible the noise around and then disable all sound effects of course and then disable this guys I, I believe if you disable these this one will also be disabled but if it's not Please disable all of these. You're not going to need them. Everything will be done in voice meter and in post. And then go to advanced and then set this to the highest possible minus the studio quality. And then, un of course, uncheck these guys over here. And then can exit that out of that. Now you want to open voice meter. And then here are your, uh, here's, it's going to be, it's quite, uh, it's quite confusing at first, but if you follow it, you guys will understand so uh, first you want to do head out is into this hardware out make sure to select your uh, your your output device the one that you prefer for me it's the headphones which is the Asus Cerberus gaming headset and make sure it's an MME because it's gonna sound weird if it's in WDM and the other stuff right there and then here it's gonna say uh, hardware input uh, one for me I renamed it so that I can identify which one is my microphone. So you want to do is you right click, uh, I mean, no, sorry about that. Right click to rename, yeah. But click on it to select the microphone. Now you want to select your microphone minus the BM800. So yeah, I, I think as, uh, it's, for me, I label these better. It's not the default. What's going to say here is like, it's a microphone real tech, but I renamed it so that it would be easier for me to identify. So yeah. So pick that one up. Be sure it's M in MME. And there we go. Now for the IntelliPan, uh, I put my voice into this side of the panning thing. It, it adds a little bit of a bass in my voice, which makes it sound more natural. I believe this is the best settings that you could go for. But a little bit of an experiment can work. You can find other options if you right click on them, but I don't move anything in them. Now, the default of your uh, setup will be, it's going to be right here in the center. Make sure to move it here. Okay, so for the audibility, um, some people prefer to raise their compression rate here. Comp means compression. Basically, what it does is that it compresses the sounds so that uh, what basically it does it kind of picks up everything even from far away which is something i don't really like but it makes your voice sound much more clearer uh i didn't do it here since uh the audio that i'm having here is already quite uh it's sustainable and uh yeah so it's for the noise gate uh for if you're recording uh i suggest you don't move with these stuff because uh you're not really gonna benefit from them when recording because it is something that you can remove the noise like in post.
but if you're streaming and you want the noise out as much as possible be uh i set set the gate for around like two or four whatever works it's kind of a bit uh kind of have to experiment with that and for the reverb i set it to 10 because i believe that sounds really good so yeah i set it to 10 right there and for the microphone gain uh what you, what I did is that I set it to negative two because zero I can, with zero I can hear all the noise already, so yeah that's not a good thing, and uh, yeah after that what I did was that I went here to the special effects, right click on that and then I put my room since my room is small I place it to short, and then activate that thing, also set EQ on I haven't really gone around with these but I leave it on just in case I will have to you know move something around with the odd okay so one thing i forgot when i was recording <laughs> that one uh this is that you want to head to your menu here and then make sure to run it at startup uh because every time you will have to uh this is not a thing that will work like if you don't start it up so like whenever you're recording or doing whatever your your business is with a microphone this this software right here always has to be on so i suggest running it at startup it's not gonna be a big impact on the startup don't worry about that uh it's just gonna be it's just gonna be there like it's gonna be go ready to go whenever you want to you know so yeah yo so yeah basically that's what the voice meter does now we want to exit up to the out of that and then go back to your recording and then you want to select uh your voice meter output right here for me it's this one it's this guy over here and then make sure to set it to default because that's where you want to your uh your thing to go out so basically this is your microphone now and not this one because it this one like it puts in all the effects in them which is really cool it's basically like a uh audio interface but a software so okay, so for the levels, you want to make sure that it's all up already because you already fixed everything on the raw here in the microphone input and the bit raw microphone input. You already fixed all the settings in there in the voice meter. So make sure it's all up in here and then make it to the highest quality possible, which is this one. And then, of course, remove the exclusive mode. And then after that, yeah, that, that's really much everything for this. Uh, microphone setup i hope you guys enjoyed the video if it worked for you please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't yet uh i haven't been uploading videos uh, my last video was about the sekiro shadows died twice but then i wasn't able to upload the video so i'm sorry about that but uh yeah uh, i really had uh fun making this video uh uh, it's something that I really was happy about when I discovered the best settings for this microphone since I really couldn't find an exact uh, in-depth BM800 guide out there. So I, I decided that I'd make one. And uh, yeah, if it works for you, uh, I'm really happy if it does not. Uh, yeah, you just kind of have to experiment around voice meter. But these guys i believe the one that i set in the recording for the raw the levels here and the advanced those are the best for the uh bm 800 so far but as you guys can see it's quite low over here so you gotta have to use the voice meter so yeah that's basically it i hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you guys in the next video probably gameplays i'm not sure might play the other live or tekken 7 who knows I'm actually downloading Resident Evil right now, Resident Evil 2. So yeah, I might do a gameplay on that. Uh, I was supposed to do a gameplay on World War Z, but I didn't like the game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye and peace out.